everyone welcome to today's video today's video we're going to be talking about the glitches and the game breaking bugs that are right now in the division 2 but before we jump into this video i wanted to say that with everything going on in the world right now this uh little video that i'm making on the scale of importance is way is not even at the bottom tier it doesn't exist in the tier of things that are important because there are a lot of uncertainties there are a lot of things right now going on and this is not necessarily something that, you know, is a problem in, in, in order of magnitude. But there is an aspect of it that can create a problem that we are probably not looking at as, as, as a community. And I'll try to highlight that in this video um, as we go on. So I have nothing against any content creator um, in our community. In fact, I like all our content creators, almost all. Some, I, I don't know many of our content creators like that. Uh, even the one that called me a used car salesman that was being a naughty content creator back in like TU6. I have nothing against you. I don't know you. But I have to say this as a community of gamers, um, that The Division 2 is a game that we say we like, is a game that we have a love-hate relationship with. It's the game that's carried us through March and is going to carry most of us through April timeline because Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed. And the Avengers game in, in May also got delayed to September. So many of us are going to play the Division 2 for the next few months until maybe about June when we see some other PlayStation exclusives and other games come out. And even when we play them, we come back to this game because this is the RPG looter shooter that comes with cycles of playthrough. And you have to say the developers put in a lot of effort and a lot of work into this title of the eight. Broken as it may be, as challenging as it may be, you have to understand that this is a game that is evolving. I think one of the things that we are doing right now in the community, showing these bugs and, you know, saying that they're fun, I don't think that sheds a good light on the game because... If you think about some of the financial aspects of this, and this is something that many people will say, but how is that even a possibility? There's an article that I read a while ago on Motley Fool. Motley Fool is this website that talks about financial, the financial industry, and they write about different companies, tech and all that stuff. They've, they've written good articles on EA. They know EA's problems. They know Ubisoft's problems, Activision's problems, and all that. They wrote this article about Ubisoft, and the article's first paragraph mentions how everyone knows that Ubisoft brings out buggy games at launch. This is, a fun, this is a website that people read to be able to gain some insight before investing into a company. So if we continue to beat down on this company, even though, yes, they're a corporation, the corporations are heartless, they're evil, we get it, we know. Why are we beating on the game that we say, oh, we love this game? And, you know, why are we putting the game in such a negative light that might have a financial cascading effect down the road? As much as many may say, oh, well, I guess this will be a wake-up call for the developers to be able to do a better job, to be able to you know, clean up their game. Yes, yes, I agree. But then if you look at all of this, these are developers who depend on this for their income. They de depend on this to take care of their children. And as imperfect as the system may be, I don't think we as a community are being considerate when we're doing this. And it may have a financial cascading effect down the road. And yes, Ubisoft has shafted many of its communities. I'm not giving them a, an outtake here. Uh, some people have called me an Ubisoft promotional channel. Whatever. You go make your YouTube channel and bash on Ubisoft. I'll counter you every day, every night with my arguments. It's not a problem. Some people say I'm always, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in the devs. Uh, I'm with the devs. The devs give me all kinds of stuff. Yes, whatever. Yes, keep believing what you want to believe. That is your own opinion. And I respect your opinion. Even though it may be unfounded and full of a bunch of lies, I still say, well, you have your opinion, you know. But think about it from that perspective. And even now, with everything going on in the world, it's most likely less feasible for the development team to come together and troubleshoot solutions more effectively to take on the problems that we're seeing right now in the game. And I think this is where we actually need to be much more considerate. If we didn't have the so-called thing that's going around right now in the environment, I would have said, okay, that's a different circumstance. Show the bugs and the glitches, let the developers make a move and go ahead and you know patch these things up because they would probably have the resources, the logistics, the manpower, everything there in their studios to be able to deal with all these issues. But now many people are grounded at home. Uh, most of us 
most some people thankful for those who are still working the supply chains, those who are still going to work, who still have to be out there, police officers, um, you know, security aid, uh, you know, um, personnel, uh, supply chain personnel. We are so thankful for you, healthcare workers. Um, we have some in my family. I have some very good friends that are still on the forefront of this. So, like I said, it's not, you know, on the order of magnitude, this is not really a big deal. But then once it has a financial cascading effect, I think this is where the community has to look at it from. So this is why I'm making this appeal to the community that when we make our glitch bug videos, we need to have a tone of it being very serious and the developers and calling the developers out to urgently fix these things as quickly as possible. That is the attitude I feel like we need to have in the community because, yes, some people are frustrated. They're frustrated that the game was very hard and sort of like, well, it's good that I can one tap enemy NPCs as they one tap me. Hey, if that's all you wish to do and not face the challenge of the game, then play another game. I mean, and eventually the Division 2 is going is always going to get easy for us. The game has gotten very easy. Just farm, build the right things, play the right roles. And the game eventually becomes easy. If you want to be able to take on enemy NPC damage, get a tank build. If you don't have a tank build, you're going to get melted. If you don't have a healer on your team, you're going to get sabotaged and melted. These are just gameplay tactics that the developers have tried their best within their means to put together in a game. But I feel like we have just taken the wrong, you know, we're just we're just taking everything the wrong way. And the developers have not even had enough time to unfold a lot of these things to us. And I think that's where they also have the responsibility to explain their game and their reasoning around these things much more. Um, Massive is supposed to, I think Massive has such a wonderful opportunity right now where they can really unveil a lot of the creative process behind this game and we can see what goes into it because our understanding is limited and so we're just in a place where, you know, if we don't if we don't know what's happening on the inside or the inner workings, we're still left in the dark. So, yes, sometimes Ubisoft deserves the heat that they receive. Um, they even put out a picture the other day on Ghost Recon Breakpoint about the cameras of the characters. And somebody said, well, the two people still left playing the game are going to enjoy, you know, that aspect of the game. That Ghost Recon Breakpoint was just a uh, uh, it was just a problem for them. For them, they created that problem for themselves. If they had waited and released that game March this month, beginning of this month, or last month, February, I think that game would have been a global success if he had just spent a little bit more time in the oven and patched up properly. So, I guess this is a place where I'm just appealing and saying I know many of the community are frustrated with Ubisoft, but this is our game, and if you continue to make our game look like crap, which some people will argue, oh, it's crap, whatever. Then what what game are you going to come back to? Sure, I know. You have you're gonna go to Cyberpunk. Yeah, I know. You're gonna go play Final Fantasy. Yeah, I know. I played the demo of Final Fantasy VII Remake. That game's made for people who love Final Fantasy, okay? The first Final Fantasy VII. If you didn't like the first Final Fantasy games, you probably <laughs> won't like this Final Fantasy VII remake. But you know, that's a good chunk of the community that's probably gonna go play that because a lot of us are, you know of that time when the Final Fantasy games are on the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1, sorry. Oh, my goodness. That's how long it's been. You know, some people are going to go to Cyberpunk. I'll be playing some Cyberpunk. But largely, many of us are going to come back to the Division after a while when they keep bringing new content and all that because we just like this game. We have the worst relationship with this game, but at the same time, it's just that game that stays in your library. You delete it, you sell it, you buy it back and download it again. That's just the Division. That's the way it is. According to the hyena guy in Jefferson Trade Center, it's a division. That that's the game. It's just a very, <laughs> it's just a very broken game. You know, it's just, the, and that's what it is. But at the same time, we should be the ones calling out for the game to be fixed, not showing that the game is broken and celebrating. Almost, it's not like we're celebrating, but it just feels like the attitude we have towards it seems to be somewhat celebratory, and so. This is just my opinion on the matter. There's so much to consider in this season. And I feel like we need to just, for the sake of what's going on in our world, express a little bit more consideration on how we're exposing our game and how we're showing it off 
to everybody because we do not know what what unintended effects this may actually bring about in the next coming months. That's my video. Thank you once again for your time and audience. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.